Well, the father who's pulling his daughter out of a New York City private school because of what he calls its obsession with race says he's getting support from parents across the country. Andrew Gutman sent a letter to other parents at the elite Brerley School writing, quote, our nation will not survive a generation of leadership even more poorly educated than we have now, nor will we survive a generation of students taught to hate its own country and despise its history. Here he is in an exclusive interview with Martha here on the story. Watch. I think history, for example, is, is probably the subject that's most important, history and civics for children to learn in this country. And I, already, I don't think we do a great job of that. Mm -hmm. But what you see with the changes of curriculum, with what they're doing with this critical race theory in the schools, they're even more so eradicating that. They're changing the classical literature curriculum. Let's bring in Dr. Ben Carson, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development and founder and chairman of the American Cornerstone Institute. Dr. Carson, it's always great to see you, sir. You wrote an op-ed uh, in, in Fox.com with South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem. I want to read a part of that and then get your, your take on the other side. It says, quoting here, critical race theory is a deliberate means to sow division and cripple our nation from within one brainwashed and resentful student at a time. And while foreign adversaries like China and Russia surely work to inflame our divisions, we are doing this to ourselves. Division from within. Expand on that, if you would, Dr. Carson. Well, unfortunately, there are elements in our society uh, that have done everything that they possibly can to drive wedges uh, in between the different parts of our society. Uh, be it race, be it age, be it income, uh, be it religion, it doesn't matter what it is. This is one that they find particularly easy because they have a captive audience uh, with the children. And it's almost like they're having a war on our children. Yeah. You know, first of all, you're, you're making young children uh, grow up through a socialization progress, process where they can't see people's facial expressions. That's a very important part of socialization. And then you're teaching them, if they're white kids, that they're yeah. bad people. You're teaching them, if they're black kids, that they're victims and that somebody else has created their problem. Can you imagine the irreparable damage that does to a person as they try to develop their self-image? And, you know, when, when I was a kid growing up, you know, I had initially a bad self-interest. People were telling me that I was stupid at various things, except for my mother, who was always saying, Benjamin, you're smart. You're yeah. much too smart to bring home these grades. I brought them home anyway. But she was always saying that, and she was very positive, and eventually things turned around dramatically because of yeah. that. We are neglecting that part of who we are. And, well. and the other big thing is, what about... Would you rather judge somebody on something that they can control or something they can't control? They yeah. can't control their race. They can certainly control their character. Well, your mom was right, starting off. But, you know, the most common complaint we hear, Dr. Carson, really is from all these parents, including Andrew Gutman and, and these in teachers, Paul Rossi coming out. They say that, you know, kids now, they're literally being judged solely by the color of their skin, which is anathema to what the civil rights movement was all about. Completely the opposite of, of what this country is supposed to be about, about our values and principles. And it's time for us who are logical to stand up. And I'm so glad to see this young man, Mr. Gutman, stand up. Mm -hmm. It's going to take courage. You cannot be the land of the free if you're not the home of the brave. You've got to stand up. Let them call your names. It doesn't matter. Let them tell you they got something on you. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and stand up for what's right. I want to just read this from the Brerley School because this is a statement they released, quoting here, we are also committed to fulfilling our historic mission by challenging young women to think critically and creatively and to provide them with the tools to respectfully learn about each other's identities and develop a capacity for empathy, nuance, and shared understanding. But are they being taught to think critically in your estimation? We're not. We're being taught to group think. You can only think that. And if you don't think what you're supposed to think, you're a bad person. You're going to be canceled. You're going to be punished in some way. You know, this is antithetical to the concept of liberty, the very thing that people came to this country for in the first mm -hmm. place. And we're going to lose it if we don't fight for it every single day. I think the bottom line is, and I've only got about 10 seconds left, is they continue to kind of lower standards, hoping that somehow that's going to lift performance, and it hasn't seemed to work so far. The last 15 seconds to you, Dr. Carson. Well, I would just say to people, keep the faith. Today is National Prayer Day, by the way, mm -hmm. even though it wasn't officially uh, acknowledged by the White House. Pray.
one nation under God. Dr. Ben Carson, it's always good to see you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.